Hello and welcome back to another episode of They Are Billions. So today I was kind of looking at this and I have a few opinions. So going for structure recycling into corpse recycling would be kind of nice. Uh, wood transportation is good too. Cause then we could go wood transportation to stone transportation and so on and so forth. Uh, we could always grab ballistas, finally. What we could also do is go for lodging. Get more money from, uh, like, the houses. But also get mercenaries, which I think are, like, elite versions of people. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Um, but we could also start saving up for this. Because I was looking at our list. Um, we could save up for this. Save up for this, and then maybe get Lucifers, because uh, I feel like Lucifers would be pretty helpful. Plus, if we want to, we can go from uh, here to here to get Lucifers, get um, a little bit more into pneumatic joints, and then get uh, Thanatos and or Titans. And if we can get Titans, I feel like that's a, that's a really good spot to be in. But for the time being, I think Lodging's the way to go. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. We probably do want to get reinforced armor at some point too, but... So, you know, we haven't done a hero mission in a little while. I'd say we go for that. So glad to do it. Bruh. Okay. Well. Yes. Alright. Um... Is there anything down here? No, not really. In fact, so little down here, I'm not even gonna bother. So, something that kind of annoys me with this character is his range on his explode or his, like, attack is not quite, like... It doesn't AoE like you would think it would. Like, you can shoot a zombie and it just uh doesn't hit the people like that it doesn't really hit the people next to it oh that's not what i want you to do bro hit the thing right in front of you please Ooh. i could shoot this barrel but i kind of want to hang on to at least one of them Yeah, that is progress, but right, let's uh, let's go ahead and steal this and also grab this while we're at it. Oh, we got more grenades. Let's go. That'll be helpful. All right, we are starting to make some actual progress. In fact, let's uh, let's shoot this. There we go. I said that's that's gonna clear out quite a few of them. Right. Bro, bro is really against shooting the things that are right next to him. Instead, favoring shooting the zombie that is across the map. And we will set him to highest level priority, just so these runners don't get close to us. Cause we can deal with this slow guy here in a sec. Is even in here. Of course. Great value. More grenades. I mean, I appreciate. Ready. Okay. But that's not quite what I'm looking for. Of course. Whew, oh no. Back to this room. Okay. Back to this hell. Still not highest level targeting. I say, bro, still does not want to shoot the targets I want him to shoot. Dang, we actually took damage there. That's annoying. Whatever, though. We can slip on in here. 
There's nothing of value down here, so we can just kind of start making our way down. moments like these that I start to reconsider picking uh, this character and wonder if the other character wasn't the better choice because like I do like his range but boy does he attack slow I have no idea if the other character is even any good I've never played with them. I cho I choose to believe that they are. Let's go. Let's see if this will actually. There we go. I say. I let's see if that will actually lead them into the fire. So if they uh, if they just kind of like don't light on fire, then that would cause issues. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and loop up here. Why don't we just shoot them through the, the machine? Ooh, that was a meaty one. know if there's any value in coming up this way but we're gonna do it anyway might as well clear out this whole chunk of map because like we're gonna have to deal with these guys probably eventually right. bro really just said fast and silent Nah, man, you are literally the loudest character. Yes. I hope not to find a heart. Yes. Oh, and you're also so very bad at killing multiple things. Okay, there we go. It's kind of funny. As I play Hero Missions, I start to understand why some people might not be the biggest fan of these Hero Missions. Because, uh... I'm just looking at the zombie way up here that's just standing in, or she was just standing in lava. For the glory of For the they really do not care, huh? Alright, yeah, let's just uh, chuck a grenade down there. That's a whole lot of things I don't feel like dealing with. Let's see, is there any way we can lure these guys to like run into the lava? Said, I really don't feel like shooting every single zombie. Um, I'll say, surely they'll catch on fire from this angle, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, most of the zombies should light on fire coming to attack us from here. So I think as long as we just kind of chill here, we'll be okay. Some more zombies. All right. Oh, just give me the loot. I don't want to deal with you. All right, quick, let's speed run in here. Grab that. Take some damage anyway. 
It's annoying. All right, whatever though. We got it. And then uh, let's let's start looping up this way and go get the loot that's over here. Ugh, I don't like these infinite spawning zombie things. They make clearing areas annoying. Okay, you know what? Just chuck a grenade, man. You're fighting me here. Let's, uh, let's preemptively move. Uh, yeah, let's, let's loop back up and hope that we can actually manage to make some progress here. Bro, if you could actually shoot the runners, that would greatly improve our chance of success here, my guy. But you are fighting me tooth and nail to not shoot the things I want you to shoot. Okay, you're just not gonna attack. Oh, alright, yeah. The longer... I use this character, the less I like him. Maybe Calliope really was the way to go. Kalis? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of keep... As I use him, I, I really just think he's not very good. Like, he's so slow, and then the AoE he has just isn't worth it, it feels like. Because, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I very seldom get splash damage value, even when I'm like trying to get the value. Oh, like as I was gonna say like there, I probably won't get the two hit, but that one actually did get both. But yeah, it feels like more often than not, I end up just not getting zombies nearby. All right, but we did finally clear this room. Well, most of it. We still have some left to go, but whatever. Let's check outside while we're down here. Uh, is there anything actually out here? Oh, there is. And it's just grenades. I mean, grenades are good, don't get me wrong, but they're not in the loot we're here for. Alright, let's uh let's make our way down here. Maybe there's more the stuff humans. this direction. Anything more? Well, I do see a lot of zombies down here, but I don't see any loot immediately. That's a little disappointing. Especially since there's a lot of zombies. Okay, yeah, and we are not gonna be able to get we have to work with them here a little bit. Get some splash damage. There we go. I mean, I would much rather you hit more than just two at a time, but it is, it is progress. Oh, man. Barnaby's just tempted to chuck a grenade in here. And that temptation won. Okay, let's uh, let's let's go this direction and lure them hopefully straight into the lava. Right, there we go. I hope not to find a harpy there. I don't know if there's anything even down here if I'm being honest. There's a, there's a lot down here. I mean there's not that many, but there's enough. Ooh, okay. So uh, let's do a little bit of, a little, little bit of running. Do we want to just use another grenade here? I kind of do, if I'm being honest. Yeah, let's just uh, check another grenade in here. That is a lot of zombies. Oh, okay. 
Any way we can lead these guys like into lava somehow? Come on. Let's go for the Empire. Oh, good, <laughs> good. He just walked through it. Let's go. Ugh. Anything more? That's easy. For the Empire. Nice. Right, we'll just take them out one at a time. This should take a while. Alright, about time we finally cleared out this area and we can take a peek outside, see if there's any good loot. Um, I see a zombie. It wouldn't qualify as loot if you ask me. Alright, what about, what about up here? Any, anything spicy? Any special little, little trinkets? Little bits and baubles? Man, we have to go on a very long journey to get the secrets out here, huh? All right, continue. We shall then. Okay, is this just gonna lead to another part of the map? All right, there, there is loot out here, though. That is something. What if we do a little bit of shenanigans like this? For the humans, of course. And then we blow it up. Uh, yeah, I would say that worked well enough. How did how did you only kill one? How did you only kill one? Yeah, I feel like his AOE is kind of just hot garbage. I'm not gonna lie. Like I know you can upgrade it, so like don't get me wrong. Maybe later it's decent, but. As of right this second, there's more often than not, I'll have a zombie like right next to another zombie and it just doesn't do anything. Also, get pranked. Alright, well, uh, I think it's going to be one of those things where I just kind of wait until they trickle on out. Man, that is a whole lot of stuff up here that I just don't feel like dealing with. I was say, we, uh, we, we grenade those. And hopefully we can deal with most of these guys. No, okay, let's shoot the, shoot the VIPs, shoot the guys in the suits, please. Bro has an affinity for shooting everything that is worthless. There's like seven... Uh, executive zombies coming at him and he's like all right hold on even though i'm set to highest priority i'm gonna take a second to shoot this uh shambling zombie that crawled out of a hole in the floor all right that's more or less this room cleared so i think we can finally kind of go in here and actually start grabbing the loot I think there's about three zombies left, and we should be able to deal with them without much difficulty. I still have some tricks up my sleeve. All right, finally, let's start grabbing stuff. So we do have the objective done. However, unless I'm like really against the idea of staying here, I think we're gonna stick around to try to 100% this. Cause uh, yeah, there really isn't much of a reason not to. Unless this mission gets real tedious. 
I think it's time to use a med kit too, by the way. Uh, is there anything else in here? No, it looks like this is all that's here. Oh boy! All right, let's uh, let's let's get boogie in. Man, so while we walk, I um, man, I am, I am just beat. I had work today. I did not sleep well at all yesterday. And, uh, I donated blood on my way home, so I'm just like, oh, I am beat. I am so tired. Uh, and it's only, like, 8 o'clock. It's like, bro, I'm not ready to go to bed yet. But at the same time, it's like, ooh, my body's telling me it's bedtime, but I don't want to go to bed yet. It's like, dang, come on. I'm not an old man. I don't want to go to sleep at 8 in the afternoon. Yeah, 8 in the afternoon. I think we're just about done clearing this room finally. I hope there's something actually down here in this corner that's worth us taking a detour to go. Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies. Oh, take the shot, please. Okay. Um, can we just lure 90% of these guys over here into the lava? They're not gonna walk in the lava. Alright, you know, let's uh let's just deal with the problem this way. And uh, we're gonna slip on over here, grab the loot. No problem. So the problem is they're just gonna keep spawning zombies and if we grab the loot we're just gonna take a hit. Oh okay, we, never mind. We're just just barely quick enough to do that. Oh boy! All right, that was a bit of a process. Uh, let's let's start making our way back this way, because I feel like there is a whole other section of the map we haven't touched yet that probably has more loot. We are missing quite a bit, actually. Let's uh let's slip on into here. What's in this room? Oh no! Don't tell me it's basically just the same room. Oh, that room took ages. We're already almost thirty minutes into this re recording, plus the other recording. It's gonna take like an hour to beat this mission, and it's like ninety percent of it is just standing here watching Kayla shoot things. And also shooting everything that I am not asking him to shoot. I hope that you can just shoot through this giant machine. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Some generator of some kind, maybe. But like, or this is probably more realistically some kind of like ore processing. But yeah, he just he just shoots straight through it. Also, that's still not loot. Ah, it's grenades, I and mean, grenades are handy, but it's not loot. Okay, maybe there'll be loot in here. Oh, good lord. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna want to lure this guy somewhere because uh, we are not gonna kill him very quickly. All right, there we go. All right. Let's go inside here. Oh god, I just realized if this is not the end of it, of course. if this isn't where all the stuff is, like we're gonna have to go hunting more. And I really don't want to have to look throughout the entire map for like the one item I'm missing. Okay, so we did. Oh, never mind. I say we maxed out that. 
No, we're still not maxed out. Uh. Okay. Okay, so we are maxed out on that now. That's important. And we're not too far off, so I think we might be set. Come on. Oh, we're, we're not. Oh, tell me it's in here. Oh, thank God. Okay. As I say, bro, if I have to go hunt down a single wine glass or something, I am actually going to lose my mind. Alright, so we actually did get a considerable amount of research, so I th think, is it worth going for this and saving up and just trying to get advanced military? So we could kind of just jump straight into getting a Lucifer pretty soon, which would be pretty cool. Getting Tesla coils might be kind of nice too, so we can go into plasma spheres. But concrete walls, honestly, I'm kind of tempted to just forego other things at the moment and just go straight for the walls because, uh, yeah, our walls, they're serviceable, but we could, we could definitely use stronger walls. Now, the problem is with stone walls, it means we actually have to gather stone. Oh, also, I'll, I'll go ahead and read this for those of you that want to see this. Also, I don't know if uh, we get these later or how does this work, but we do not have these unlocked yet. But yeah, um, uh, I'm really tempted by that. I'm very tempted, but extra soldier attack damage is also pretty nuts. Dang, there's some really good stuff, like, in this mid-game. Let's... For now, we'll save up for now. Unless we really need it, we'll we'll hold on to our points. And we'll probably go for advanced uh, machinery. But, you know, if we end up choosing differently, we can just grab concrete or something. Uh, for you, I don't know, is there like an AoE we could get? I don't necessarily think I need attack damage. I need like... I need like effect range. I need your AoE to not be poopy garbage. Or maybe, maybe your attack speed. See, the thing is, I don't know what the difference here is between attack speed and load loading weapon speed. Let's go for attack speed. I think that's what we're looking for. If I had to guess loading speed is our first shot and attack or reload speed is every shot afterwards, maybe. I have literally no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. We'll leave it at this. I think that's probably the way to go. And we'll hold on to our points here. So, uh, we could probably knock something else out. We want to do a swarm. Not at the moment. Not really. Um, however, everything else is going to be kind of tricky. I feel like I vaguely remember the Oasis, but I could be wrong. The Lonely Forest, I don't know if I remember, and the Frozen Lake, I don't think I remember. I think this is about as much, because I do know I got into like this little nook before. I don't think I ever defeated this swarm, because I just didn't feel like dealing with that. There's just like a lot of enemies. Uh, maybe it's time for the Oasis? Ooh, I'm nervous because I think I think this is about where I stopped playing because I lost and just didn't feel like going back and redoing the level at the time and yeah it's, it's gonna be tough okay we'll do the oasis resist all swarms oh is there one that isn't resist all swarms no Okay, yeah, we'll do the Oasis. Um, 
is a perfect location to establish a prosperous colony that connects with the remote colonies of the south. Furthermore, in this region, there are neither infected nor swarms nearby to worry about for the foreseeable future. However, you may know by now that these cursed lands' tranquility does not last forever. Our scouts have detected a distant swarm. Oh, that will take more than a month to reach the colony. Get your defenses ready with all your arsenal before their arrival. So that sounds like I have a great early game and then a really beefy wave to deal with. Same deal with this. Okay. Um. Yeah, right, we'll give it a go. Worst case scenario, I die again. Yeah, I think I'll hang on to my points. Okay, I am happy about what the immediate area looks like, though. Wow, okay. Um, wow, they were not joking. Where is everybody? I'm more nervous about the fact that I can't find any zombies than I am... The fact that... Ooh. Okay, so this is definitely... I Okay, first off, I've never played this mission. That much I can tell you right now. Um, secondly... Oh, we have, like, no natural barriers. That sucks. Oh yeah, we should probably build stuff. I'm so enthralled in the fact that there's nothing anywhere that I didn't build anything. I'm concerned. I don't like this. Yeah, we have like no natural barriers anywhere. Here's iron. So I think we want to just like immediately go towards iron is this just gonna be like slow build up attention building completed you know hold on let's set you to chase oh wow I set you to chase and you just sat there Oh, wow, that's scary. That's really scary. I don't like that at all. Yeah, that means... That means there's no zombies on this map whatsoever. And the entire challenge is going to be the giant horde that shows up. Ooh, I really don't like that. Alright, um... So we saw iron down here. Is there any closer iron? There's iron right here. All right, let's um, let's start moving our way up here. I want to get iron instantly. Ooh, this map is scary. <laughs> I don't like this anymore. Let's try to scout out the entire map while we're just kind of waiting on buildings anyway. Um. We need more workers, so we're gonna have to wait until the train shows up again. That is a bit of a blunder on my part. Uh, yeah, that's definitely unfortunate. I think we just want to start massing snipers like instantly. Attention. Building completed. Okay, we're out of wood and we can't gather anymore until we build a thingamajig. So, yeah, we're just waiting on the train now. Oh, man. Yeah, we have no, like, natural barricades anywhere. We really are just in the middle of nowhere. However, since this is going to be 90% colony management, that means I can cut out, like, half the video because I don't think 
people will want to just sit there and watch me building a colony near silence for however long. Okay, uh, we do want to start gathering resources like instantly. Because uh, otherwise, okay. yes. yeah, otherwise it's going to get really scary really fast. I think it's already gotten really scary. My plan is to just scout out everything as much as physically possible and probably just set like one archer in the center to uh, uh, chase. That way I instantly know if anything's spawned. Attention. Building completed. Ooh. Out of food again. That is less than ideal. Ooh, we are. I already feel research resource starved. All right, yeah. Let's um. I'm gonna put you like right here in front of, or right next to. I don't know. You guys just stand here. You guys are on chase duty. If I look back at the base and you guys aren't there. That means zombies spawned. Okay. Attention. Building completed. Whatever you say. As long as it's tame. What? Great. Are you sure? Great. Attention. Okay. Building completed. Gotcha. Yes. You are gonna tame for this, right? Okay, so we're making wood now. That's good. We actually can start building some more advanced buildings. Um, something we're gonna need to decide on pretty early is how we're gonna fortify. Because there really isn't choke points, like, at all. So, this might be a situation of just build walls upon walls upon walls upon walls. Which I really wish we had picked up the stone walls now. Because that would have made our lives significantly easier. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna keep reaching out for that iron because that is I think of grave importance if we can get that iron like ASAP Also, we want to reach down here to this stone. I think also I think those are two of our biggest priorities right now get stone and get iron like building up houses will also be valuable but I think our biggest concern is just having resources to build more advanced resource uh, buildings because uh yeah like i said this is i i've never played this mission before and so i'm nervous okay so let's expand to here that'll give us stone and then once this builds this will give us iron so we'll be able to start building Attention. some better, building higher tech stuff immediately. Uh, we probably Attention. want to expand up to here. This will give us more wood, more places to build food. And then, I don't know, I guess over here. Okay. In the meantime, more colonies. And we're out of food. That's going to be a reoccurring thing, I have the, the suspicion. I would love to build. Oh, jeez. Building, Building an inn is stupidly expensive. Oh my lord. Wood. You lose 30 Attention. wood supply? Building Yeesh. Completed. Okay. That building's a little. more. It's a little more tough than I anticipated it being. Um, but that's alright. We'll make do. We'll figure things out. We kind of have to. Okay, so building up on along this oh oasis, that's not it. Along this patch of water is probably a good idea for now. Building completed. Okay. So now with that, we probably want to start saving on gold for two quarries, but that's gonna take a hearty minute. Um, 
Okay, so yeah, now we can build... I think it's more important to start gathering stone sooner than iron. Because we need stone to build the other building anyway. So, like, we can have all the iron in the world, but we can't do anything with it if we don't have the stone building. Attention. Building completed. Okay, so now that that's built... Um... Wait, oh, wait, whoops. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Ugh, everything is so dang pricey. Um, oh. I was say, let's get ahead of power and build a new mill while we're waiting. But I am more interested in getting an iron quarry up. Is there any, like, min-maxing we want to do here? Something like this and then this. So that gives us five, that, give, that gives us seven compared to just six. Yeah, I think that's our way to go. Or eight, I mean. Okay, we'll build an iron thing here. And we can definitely build more down here. And while we're waiting, might as well build this. Attention. Building completed. And we're out of gold again. Yeah, I think skyrocketing our gold income is probably a pretty high priority at the moment. We probably want to try to make as much gold as possible. Because, uh, yeah, we are really gonna need it. So is it really just, like, no zombies at all? In this region, there are neither infected nor swarms nearby to worry about. Man, that is... Uh... That's so spooky. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I, I'm worried that we have to survive for 75 days. No, okay, never mind. We just have to survive the day 16. Attention. Building completed. Wait, Attention. why am I building it? Building completed. Ah, uh, hold on. We're gonna destroy these. Okay, let's build this, like... Right here, and then we build. Okay, we build that. The train has arrived at the station. Right, once we get enough money, I think we, like I said, we get ahead of power, seeing how we're about to run out anyway. But that's gonna require some more gold. Attention. Building completed. Alright, yeah, let's uh let's plop down a mill. So next thing we probably want more Attention. food. Building completed. I think the next thing we want to do is probably grab a wood workshop so we can start knocking out farms pretty quickly. Well, we are out of energy. Okay, that's fine. We're already building a mill. Might as well build another one. That way we're pretty far ahead. Attention. Building completed. So yeah, the wood workshop, we just need to save up gold. Attention, building completed. Yeah, because I feel like building a bunch of these, like, hunting cottages is not the most efficient thing in the world. Attention, building completed. Attention. Building completed. The train has arrived at the station. Alright, now with that, let's build one of these bad boys. 
Uh, let's build it up here, I think. We probably won't build too many houses over here, but we could build a lot of houses in this area. And in fact, ideally I want to wait until we can get the inn first. Yeah, we want the inn and we want the thingamajig, the doohickey, if you will. The whatchamacallit. Yeah, let's build that, and then we can probably build another one down here at some point. Oh, we're out of food again. Okay, um, let's let's remedy that. Cause, uh, yeah, we have no time to dilly dally. Um. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. We'll just build another quarry here. So we'll be getting 10 stone and 8 iron. So I think that's pretty solid for the time being. I don't think we really need to push the other types of... Or we don't need to go that hard on resources at the moment. Attention. Building like, especially right this second, we can't do anything with it anyway. So we are going to need a gigantic colony. But I think we actually have the space to do that pretty easily. I don't want to say easily. We have the space to do it. Attention. Building completed. But I am worried. Attention. Building completed. Attention. Building completed. Alright, so yeah, I think the first thing I want to buy. I think I want to buy the farm first. Then I want to get the market and then cottages probably. And then, yeah, I'm going to probably right about here build both the inn and the, um, whatever, right, the market. Now, let's start planning out this city. Oh, we can't because we don't have any food. Yeah, I would very much like to fix that problem first. And quite promptly at that. Because, uh... This is a little annoying to have to deal with. Alright, so now we have farms. Which is huge. That's tremendous. Because that's gonna net us a an absolutely ridiculous amount of food. Attention. Building completed. And I would love to get ahead of our power again Attention. and build another Building mill. Completed. Because I have a suspicion we're going to run out sooner rather than later. Attention. Okay, let's uh, let's save up for a market, I think. The real thing is going to be saving up enough for an inn. That's going to be crazy. That's, like, stupid expensive. We definitely need a warehouse if we're going to have any dream of getting an inn. Also, we do need at least 200 colonists. I mean, we're gonna be there in like just a moment anyway, so I don't think that's that big of a concern, but that is something to keep in mind. Um, let's start building some stuff down here. So we're gonna need all of the food we can get. And might as well build uh, more sawmills. Because any excess stuff we make is just going to turn straight into gold, more or less. Not a very good conversion, granted, but... Attention. Extra resources Building are extra attention. resources. Our biggest hurdle Attention. right now is just our complete Building lack completed. of gold. Let's do... Building completed. Our warehouse right here. Yeah, that'll get, I think, everything that we station. care about. Yeah, 
let's do it right here. Oh wait, right. Oh, this power thing is like exactly where I want to build. Okay, whatever. This is good enough. Okay, so that's gonna make it so we have ample gold. Or not, we're. That's not how it works. It's gonna make it so we can store ample gold. Now let's get our market research going. And then in the meantime, we'll just keep expanding. Ooh, this is actually kind of close to the map, so I think this is about as far as we want to go this direction. And uh, once we get enough money, we probably, well... I'm worried about not building here and then getting blindsided by a surprise horde. Not even a surprise horde, but just like, you know, five zombies. Attention. Building completed. I guess we should build a soldier center at some point, so now is as good of a time as ever, I suppose. We do need to start massing an army as well. Like, I don't think I want to do it quite yet, but... I do need to do that soon. Technology research finished. Eh, Attention. Building where's the completed. market? Oh, we can almost build that already, actually. Now right, let's go ahead and build up another farm. Actually, first we need more power, I think. That's more important. And then we build another farm. Oh wow, yeah, these lands are fertile. Having farms here, very valuable. Okay, yeah, let's, um... Let's Attention. figure out where we want Building this market completed. being built. So, once this guy is done, we'll start planning that out. But in the meantime, more people. Also, we're out of energy already. Um... Yeah, it might be worth building another thing for energy, I suppose. Yeah, we'll build another one. I mean, I know we're building one now, but, you know. You never have enough- you never have too much energy. It's not like we can spend the money on anything else anyway. So the range is something like this. So I feel like we do want to just build next to this rock or something. This rock feels like an appropriate spot. That's not like... Plus there's a decent choke right here. There's actually a really good choke all along this side. For these two spots. Um, that's... We can build a good choke point here. Decent choke point here, I guess. Choke point here. We make something work here. Make something across there, and then cross these two spots. Um, down here though, we don't really have- I mean, I guess here to here to here, but that's not at great. Okay, I think our left side- our left- Yeah, our left side's probably our most easily defendable position. But, for the time being, let's just keep focusing on expanding. So... We'll build right here. Once these guys are done, we should be able to start our, um, whatchamadinger, our, our new and improved and fancier colony. Or neighborhood, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. Dang, I kind of do want to build down a little bit. Like right here. Instead of right here. Oh, wait, why? There, we'll build it. And I'm assuming the inn is generally about the same size, if I had to guess. So we'll leave some space over on this side. But that means. That means we can finally start working on this happy little colony. And I guess we'll start trying to save up for the inn. 
You know, once we get enough stone, I think we'll be in a good spot, but it's gonna take a while before we get to that point. Guess we could build Attention. more Building things to harvest, but I'm more interested on expanding our gold production right now, seeing how we are constantly at a deficit of gold. Attention. All right, completed. we can finally build this, which is slightly thicker than I originally anticipated. Um, so we might have to do a little bit of demolition work right here. Alright, this... Yeah, there we go. That fits. Oh my gosh, the range on this guy is gigantic. Ooh. I think that's definitely worth it, though. Because once this thing builds, like, we're gonna be making a tremendous amount of extra gold. At least that's the dream. I don't actually know how much gold we're making. But I like to believe it's a lot. Or it will be a lot. And I also like to find out what exactly the mercenaries are gonna be. Man, imagine if we could like hire mercenaries that like we haven't developed or unlocked yet. Building completed. So like the um like imagine we get like a Thanatos or something. That'd be nutty. I seriously doubt that'll be the case, but like imagine. Oh, there we go. The boys are in town. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'm just gonna set a rally point. Attention. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing, but we are making decent, or a fair amount more money than we were previously. So I will take that. Now this is pod risk. Thanks to this guy, we are also using less food up. Building completed. Oh. Ooh, that's expensive, but getting a sniper, that's pretty hype. I don't think I particularly Attention. want these Building archers. Yeah, they're kind of pricey, Building but completed. having those snipers, or getting veteran snipers here and there is going to be very handy. Especially since we're not going to be able to get any sniper, or we're not going to get veterancy any other way. Alright, we can actually make our own snipers now. Very cool. Yeah, we are probably going to want to start massing snipers in the very near future. Building completed. Because, uh, yeah, I have a suspicion we're gonna need a lot of snipers to be able to make this happen. On the plus side, though, we are making good progress. We're not quite halfway there yet, but, you know, we're, we're getting there. Alright, with day 20 coming around, I think this is where I'm actually gonna end up calling the episode. Unfortunately, I just don't have a lot of time to continue recording today. And the episode is due for tomorrow. So, yeah, I, I don't really have enough time to go another 40 days and still be able to edit it. So, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and end the episode here. I will probably spend quite a bit of time thinking about strategy until the next episode because this is gonna be a tricky map for sure now i did spend a good amount of time oh well i spent a good amount of time expanding our power out to the sides a bit um but i still obviously have quite a bit of ways to go with this one but yeah what i'm thinking is expand out all the way to the walls uh build up or, yeah, the borders, I mean. Build up walls as much as I can. And then just keep building walls in and go from there. I guess my plan is to just have an actual metric ton of walls. And just sniper spam. Uh, we've kind of started our snipers. It's not a lot, but it's a decent amount. It, it's an okay amount. 
But, like, the thing is, we don't really need snipers right this second anyway. Like, yeah, we're gonna definitely want to start mass producing them very soon, but right this second i'm more interested in boosting our economy which we have been doing pretty well so far i think we have quite a bit of cottages our town is looking pretty nice we are making we are still producing snipers um but all in all i think we're in a decent spot it all depends on how big the final wave is gonna be but yeah, I think right this second we're okay, but I guess, yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll have to see how this goes next episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.